I'm Deacon Frederick Bartels. Today is the 41st day of Lent, which is also Monday of Holy Week. Our reading today is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. This reading takes us back to before the Passover. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Notice that Jesus praises Mary for the attention and love she gave to him. There's an important lesson in this for us. The virtue of charity means, first of all, loving Christ above all else for his own sake. And it is only in doing so that we can love our neighbor as ourself. Furthermore, when we love our neighbor, we do so for the sake of our love of Christ. Love of neighbor finds its origin and dynamic in our love for Christ. If we take pleasure in serving the needs of others but leave the love of Christ out of the picture, we are doing nothing but engaging in humanitarian projects. While these may be good in themselves, they are not supernaturally good works. Let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, increase the theological virtue of charity in my soul by the gift of your Holy Spirit. Grant that I may always love you above all else for your own sake, for the sake of who you really are. Help me then to love my neighbor in you, to love my neighbor as another self for the sake of my love of you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our gospel today invites us to worship Christ, praise Him, and put Him first in our life, over and above all else. It is only in doing so that we can lead productive Christian lives in the world. Today, spend at least 15 minutes in prayer reflecting on how you can better worship and give praise and glory to Christ. May the Lord bless you and your family this Lenten season.